Hello lovelies, welcome to the video. So I have another art journal page in my altered book that has become my new art journal. I've used this a couple of times and I did um, in a previous video mention what it was all about. It's a book that I found at a bookshop that I really liked the paper in and I decided to um, turn it into an altered book art journal. So I'm just prepping the page with gesso. It's more, I don't really prep my pages all that often. Uh, using the gesso is more about toning down that background that's already there so I can come in with some colors and start making something yeah that I like uh, this was a very quick video it was one of those days when I just wasn't really feeling the mojo and I just wanted to be creative and I was just trying to yeah get the mojo flowing a bit so I'd literally just grab some colors of paint and this happens to be grape and cherry pie I think from the delusions range and then this is a darkroom door stencil and I'm just going back over the paint while it's still mostly wet um, and just taking some of that paint off with a wet wipe this works really well when you have gessoed the page behind so that's why you can see all that awesome uh, texture from the stencil and then I'm a big all and create fan and I love their stamps and all the texture and detail you get in it so I really wanted to play with some of my new stamp sets and so I'm just going around and adding some stamping to my background I'm using uh, my black ink here and there and I'm just adding to my my details and, and layers in my background there wasn't really a lot going on on this page this was more of a I just wanted to play and yeah put some paint on a page so this was a very very quick page and this was also a color palette that I don't use often I haven't used on these two colors together which was great I really do like stepping out of my comfort zone especially when it comes to my color palette because a lot of the time I feel that they can um, a lot of my pages can fall into the same color range which happens a lot so I'm going to town with my stamps using my black archival ink and then yeah I'm just adding really I'm just playing with these stamps they're, they were all brand new stamp sets and I just wanted to play with them this love word came with um, the set that I'm gonna use as a focal image and I really liked it um, I think I'll have to do another page where it really really pops off my background I have been watching some of the um, all and create demos that abs has been doing and he actually has been using um, white embossing powder on some of his so that might be an idea to um, really make some of these words pop because I really do love that stamp so this is going to be my focal image and I, I just love the lines and the quirkiness of this image I really do and so I've just stamped it onto some plain white cardstock and I'm gonna fussy cut it out actually I'm gonna stamp it again because I really wanted a really really good print of this a really good stamp and then I'm going to fussy cut it out and I'm going to leave it on my page as is. I don't color it. Um, I just, I really like how it jumps off the page with no, no other coloring to it. I do go around it with my um, Stabilo All Pencil to give it some shadow and make it look not so 2D and so flat. But I decided not to color it. One, because I don't usually color my stamped images a lot. And two, because I really do like how it pops off the page. Yes, I have broken the cardinal rule and basically my stamped image is just floating on my page. But like I said, this was this was all about play. I didn't care about, you know, the composition as much. I just wanted to play with my stamps, play with some paints and yeah, just have some fun. So my little figure is just floating in the middle of my page, but I don't mind at all. So I'm just going around with my Spillo or pencil. And then that's it for the page. So like I said, nice quick little journal page. But this was all about just play and having some fun. So I hope you've enjoyed the video and I'll be back real soon with another one. Bye for now.